Hello and welcome to another session with me, Remy from Remyo Digital, with another fantastic guest speaker today, here to improve and better all of our lives. So today I am joined by a very special lady who is not only a client of mine, but she's also a friend. She is a certified lifestyle coach and she has a master's in public health so she is the real deal ladies and gentlemen and it was during one of our sessions together very recently that she mentioned something to me um, that I had to ask her about Ula and I wanted to know what it was now as she was telling me about it I realized that she lit up as she was talking about it and straight away I said to her we need to do a session on this like you and I we need to do like a guest speaker spot and we need to share this with as many people as possible which has led us to here today this is what I'm about bringing ideas to fruition and just making stuff happen so I'm so pleased she is here today um and here is the official introduction to my gorgeous friend um Abella likes to call herself a motivational peer guide for ambitious and professional women who are ready to claim their queendom fix your crown girl uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and so through dance and lifestyle coaching she totally empowers young millennial women Women to challenge the oppressive socially constructed labels to find their voice and to help them shine her coaching style is full of authentic realness and zest to boost your mental resilience and to help you soar so today she's here abella how are you I'm fine, Remy. I'm so glad to be here with you. You always make me smile. Oh, bless you. I'm so pleased we're doing this. Me I'm so too. pleased. Thank you for um, asking. Absolute pleasure. So let's um let's just get into it, shall we? You, so because there are going to be some people going, what is Ula? I mean, what is it? Like it's just a word. Like, what does it mean? What is it? How how did you find it? Tell us everything about Ula. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so (laughs) Ula, when you think of that word, think of that perfect sweet spot, right? Mm -hmm. Where everything is in alignment, where you're at peace, where the different parts of your life are in perfect alignment, and you are at that point of self-fulfillment where you're like, I am fulfilling my purpose. I am in the space I need to be. I am with the people I need to be with. Everything is in alignment. And ULA comes from the French word, ULA LA, right? So Ooh, imagine- ULA LA. Word. Exactly, right? It's like, <laughs> ah, it's, it's inspiration. It's yes. literally just the universe saying, I applaud you, you know, and everything is in alignment. So Ula came to my life from a friend of mine, actually. Her Mm -hmm. name was Rebecca Moses, and I'm going to shout her out here. And she and I actually both went to the same master's um, program at George Washington University. (laughs) And we both had a passion for health promotion, right? We did not enter the public health space just to enter the public health space. For me personally, I've always had a heart to understand all the different elements Mm -hmm. that impact our health, right? So we have our physiology. I'm in nursing school. So you have like the the genetics, you have those underlying physiological things happening. But there's so many factors that impact our health mm-hmm. and our wellness. So we can think about the, your economics. Are you, how, are you financially sound? Are you, are you financially well? You can think of uh, um, your family and friends. Who's around you? Mm-hmm. Like who is around you? There's been a study shown about actually so many of the gurus, the business people say that your five closest friends can either help accelerate you to your dream oh, or yeah. derail you from your dream. Absolutely, so, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you have to think about your friends and your family, like who's around you and the and the about, energy that they're bringing around you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And the technical language that is used in the public health space is called social determinants of health. Okay. So these are the social factors that impact not your biology, your physiology, your mood, your everything. So I was so curious. I was like, oh my gosh, outside of this, you know, the the genes and et cetera, 
there is what they call epigenetics. So these are just even your environment, like me yeah. living in Baltimore, Maryland, the, the level, the toxin levels here, the yeah. smog, all of those factors literally change what's happening in your basic biology. Yeah. So outside of that, I was like, well, obviously that makes sense. So even policies and laws and yeah. access, all of these things impact your overall health and wellness. Absolutely. So ULA was, I felt like a, a very beautiful, succinct way to describe social determinants of health. Oh. And those eloquently put, I know, right? Those <laughs> eloquently put social, you know, those principles I learned in public health school, right? Yeah. So when it comes down to it, I love to say that ULA is the path to achieving your dreams. Uh, so we each have our dreams, right? Those yeah. things that we sit down when we ask ourselves, Abella, what do I really want to do? And you begin to visualize your feelings. You begin to visualize your mood. You begin to visualize those people around you. You even begin to visualize the space that you're at. Yeah. Get very granular about all of those things. And you realize that they all play into each other. Nothing is independent of one another. No. So with ULA, they break it down into what they call the seven Fs. And the seven Fs are fitness. Yep. And fitness could be emotional, mental health, which is what I'm really big on. Which, That's by the way, you're nailing on Instagram every time you show up <laughs> dancing. <laughs> That's my Check. goal. Check <laughs> for your fitness. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So fitness can be your emotional wellness, your mental health. It can also be your physical wellness yeah. and your nutrition. So fitness. Then we have our finance. Whoa. Money <laughs> is important, folks. Money yep. is important. Like if you don't have enough money, you might not have access to certain things. Yeah. So we can't deceive ourselves that economic health and wellness will obviously impact your own physical health and wellness. Yeah. So finance is definitely one of those Fs. Yeah. Then family and friends. So I talked about when you're visualizing that ULA moment, that Zen moment, that alignment, who is around you? Because those people define you. Mm -hmm. Like you, you yeah. we all play into each other. Yeah. So friends and family. So sometimes let's think about it. Sometimes our family, our family is our, our immediate genetic mom, dad, brothers and sisters, and then our friends. And uh, to be honest, our friends can be family. So yeah. we choose our friends, our friends. We may not choose our family, but we can choose our friends, those people around us who can empower us to be those yep. amazing people that we are and that we can be. Yeah. So um, that's fitness finance, family, and friends. Yep. Then we have field. And when we say field, this is what I like to call your career. Okay. What is it that you're doing that is manifesting your purpose? What is it that you're doing that is giving you some money, right? And in our world, the majority of our time is spent in our field. You know, the majority of our time is spent in our careers, like getting money so that we can live yeah. and do what we need to do. So the question is, if you're spending the majority of your time in, a, in your field, are you actually enjoying it? And, <laughs> it, and, are, you, and are you in the field that you want to be in? <laughs> exactly, right? Like, is this what you want? Is yeah. this really what it is? I mean, you have one life, girl, so is exactly. this what it is? <laughs> it's like, and, and sometimes it's a very hard question to ask. And Obviously, sometimes our fields are not necessarily what we've chosen and is yeah. what we have to choose by necessity. I mean, we can talk about just the so many social factors that predispose us to our fields, but yeah. I believe that we have a choice, that there are resources around us to help us get to that next step. But there are people that you can tap into to help us get to that next step. I refuse to believe that anyone's case is hopeless case. And 
um, before I kind of get onto my soapbox there, I'm going to add <laughs> on two more Fs. Yes. So please. I mentioned fitness, finance, family, friends, field. Then we have our faith. And this doesn't necessarily have to be your religion, the one that you were birthed into. Yeah. This is more so the acknowledgement of something bigger, of, of your purpose, of that vision, of that dream, of that knowing that I'm guided, you know, like this is all happening for a reason. Um, and I like it because it's the whole aspect and the essence of, if you want to, if you want a, a, the word that comes to be spiritualism. So yeah. you may not be religious, but you can be spiritual and understanding yeah. that with each with each thing that I do, it built upon each other. And that I like to say the universe, you know, things. That's are, what I was gonna say was the universe. Yes, the universe, <laughs> right? That's why I feel like the, like I mean things just I don't think things just happen. I, I agree. Think things happen for a reason. So yeah. um, so that's kind of the element of faith. And we talk about meditation, yoga, all of those things that kind of get us centered. Yeah. And then help us to fine tune and see get clear on what we want to do with our lives. And then last but not least is fun. Oh my goodness. So fun. I feel like we in our world where we're working so much and it's like, get to that next goal, get to this, get to that, get to that. We sometimes don't pause to just enjoy the moment. Well, this and is very true. And I feel like I forgot yeah. what fun was until I had a child. And now I'm literally living vicariously through my child. Exactly, <laughs> right? we have so much fun every day. Yes. Yeah, I it's, think it's fun is just the essence of finding like laughter. You know, what is it that you yeah. enjoy doing? It doesn't have to be extravagant. No. It doesn't have to be like going on, you know, to a famous resort in Bali. It yeah. doesn't have to be that. <laughs> no. But it can be those small moments that bring yeah. you joy. It can be That's like cooking your favorite meal that is, you know, the aroma is like, whoa, all your senses are engaged and there's yeah. appreciation. Totally, so, yeah. Exactly. So it's just kind of tapping into that el that element of frivolity, that element of uh, true enjoyment and, and just being present in the moment uh, and yeah. letting it make you smile. Like yeah. literally smile. <laughs> you need to be smiling when you're having fun. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like these seven things, the seven Fs that you've given, they're like the core values of life, really. All of them, you know. Exactly. Uh, and, exactly. And, and it's just, I guess, tapping into all of the elements rather than staying in one for too long or, or you know, because, you know, you have people that are, are obsessed with fitness and they don't have fun in their life because they're obsessed with fitness or, yes, you know, yes. um, or people who are stuck in their field, in their career and perhaps they don't have much faith or much fun or much uh -huh. family and friends. So, and I think it's about getting that balance, isn't it, of... Oh my gosh, you should just teach the course. Oh my <laughs> that's, so that's, that's the essence of it. Great, so okay. In order for you to truly be living your dream and for you to truly be having that ooh la la moment, yeah, the best life seen is in harmony. Yes. You know? Um, and yeah. the truth of the matter is this when you are so far off on one part of it, and not so well in the other parts of it, they pull at each other. Yes. Like if you are very unhappy in your field and your work, you go home, that energy spreads with your yeah. with your friends and your family. Yeah. And that begins to suffer. Your fitness begins to suffer. Your mental yeah. health begins to suffer. Like, I mean, it is one of those things. I love the seven Fs because it really just is a huge glaring neon sign to me that in order for me to really be in harmony with myself, these other elements have to be balanced. Yeah, they have to all and be some balanced. people don't like the word balanced because it's, you know, they're juggling plates, but there has to be peace and harmony in those yeah. areas. You know, I think that's the yeah. kind of like the, the thing is peace and harmony. There shouldn't be discordance, right? No, I so, agree. So you said it, you really did say it, right? I mean, you really did. It's like, yes, that's, and that's the that's whole point. Um, and I'm so, so fortunate to be able to say that I am a, a ULA Life Certified Coach Brilliant. and Lifestyle Coach yeah. and paired up with kind of like my own personal passion of mental health and uh, um, truly taking action yeah. to be that badass you want to be. Yeah. 
I I feel like together we can make magic happen. Your oh, dreams sure. can come true. I mean, they will, they can, but it starts with here. It starts yeah. with those other elements and um, you, you make it happen because yeah, absolutely. You, deserve, absolutely. you deserve for your dreams to come true. That when you say your dream and that visualization that you just created, and I like to always start there because everyone has an image. Everyone yeah. does. Everyone Every, does. Everyone does. So it's like, okay, so so why aren't you there? Like what's holding you back? Let's yeah. begin to take a step yeah. back and say, what is that thing I'm going to work on first? Right? Because you have all these seven Fs yeah. and it can be overwhelming. Like, oh my gosh, friends, family, field, faith, all of this. <laughs> but we, in our system, we always like, what's that big one? What is that big goal mm. that you want to achieve that when you achieve it, it impacts and trickles down onto the other areas yeah. of your life? Yeah. So and, how, can yeah. I ask a question? How do you, as um, an ULA coach or ULA specialist, how do you, <laughs> what do you do? Do you almost do like an assessment of people to find that kind of where their strengths and weaknesses are in each of these seven areas? Exactly. Is that how you yes, you said it. So okay. we first do an assessment. It's like, okay, so we look at these seven areas of wellness. We look at yeah. the seven areas that will help you achieve your dream. And you answer, honestly, we have some questions in each of those categories. Yeah. Where are you? And the beautiful thing about this is that there's evidence-based research. There are questions that will say, okay, you know, on fitness, if you aren't here, 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 and here, we might need to work on that, you know, yeah. and finance, like there are studies, like, do you have a thousand dollars in your savings account? Yeah. Do you have an emergency fund? Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. how do you like your job? You know, yeah. those different things, <laughs> those different things. You're like, okay, family and friends, you know, yeah. do you have people in your life yeah. that are cheerleading you and supporting you? Yeah. Exactly. Right. And then vice versa. Do you yeah. have people in your life that are pulling you down? Yeah. We have to ha really assess how can we, you know, put those people in the corner, you yeah. know, <laughs> it's like, how can we I know what that? you mean. <laughs> exactly. So it's, we, we really kind of look into those areas and, and it's a collaborative experiment experience yeah. Yeah. is I, I, with lifestyle coaching, I really think it's really about accountability coaching. Because yeah, I agree. We I agree. all know what we want. Like yes. we are stupid and people aren't stupid. <laughs> well, um, some people are, but most of them are. I mean, you know, yeah, the most people <laughs> are stupid, but what yeah. people need is like, hold, I'm going to hold your hand yeah. as you make these changes. Yeah. And I, again, that's why I call myself a motivational peer guide yeah. because I'm walking alongside with you, sis. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I am constantly growing and learning. The yeah. Process we all are. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The process doesn't stop. That's but right. I feel like I have a system that actually makes sense. Yeah, it does. And I it can totally help. does. You know, it totally like, does. <laughs> and and I think I feel. and I think when we first started talking about it and you mentioned it to me, that was my my thought process process was that um this could help a lot of people that are in my network and a lot of the people that are in my world because mm -hmm. <clears throat> as much as I teach the business side of stuff and I tap into mindset a little bit I don't particularly go as deep as what this does and so I feel like this could be really helpful to a lot of people who are on a journey with me but also might or could use this as supplemental support along their journey to finding their own internal balances and their whole you know and their lifestyle balance so when you started talking about it I was like yes this makes sense let's <laughs> let's pull this in because you know if we can help people in all areas of their life then you know we're just making a bigger impact in the world and we're, we're impacting them and then they're going to impact their family and their friends and so on and yes. so on yes. which is which is how I come at all of this and I think one of the reasons why I have really connected with you as a human is I think we both have something in common which is that with what we're trying to do is that we're trying to help people. That's the, the core of what we're trying to do is to help people um, in our different lanes and in our different ways, but mm -hmm. we're trying to help people. And, um, and I think that's really important. So the more that we can do collaborative stuff like this, 
um, I think is brilliant. So um, yes. we're, we're getting close to the end now, but can you tell me how people can reach you if they want to know more about Ula? Um, mm -hmm. Where are some of the places that people can find you and give me like usernames and stuff. And what I will do is at the, because I'm not on StreamYard, if I was on StreamYard, there'd be like a nice little banner here with your name uh -huh. and all your <laughs> usernames, but I'm not, I can't do this on Zoom. But after the video, once I upload the video, I'll put all your contact details in the comment as well. But if you want to give out the, the name, your, your places where people can find you, reach you, if they want to know more about Ula and come yes. on this journey with you, then that'd be great. All right, over to you. I've got a couple Okay, telling me things. So first off, Instagram, Yeah, we do a lot of things there. Um, my handle on Instagram is at B positivity clinic. So that is where our life coaching services kind of reside and where we do talk specifically about the seven F's and, uh, um, our website is www.positivityclinic.com. And when you go there, you will see a whole array of services that we have and uh, what we are doing, and this is something that we just started, we're going to launch this off the last week of October before the elections happen. Um, so at least Let's in the pray for here. the planet. I know, right? <laughs> um, uh, we're doing a seven day energize and elevate challenge. Oh, fabulous. And, uh, yes, and this is going to be a very simple challenge in this in the essence that for each seven days each day corresponds to the seven f to one oh seven brilliant and uh, well going i'm gonna to come and do this challenge as well anyway I'm yes, you now. please i, I mean, will jump on friends just again this is about us motivating each other yeah. and i think one thing that we miss when we're serving people is this is a family like this yeah. is a community like sis bro yeah. we yeah. need each other Absolutely. and uh, with this challenge um my, my, my uh, partner and I were going to present us a, a challenge for one F yep. and the goal is to see, did you actually do it? We're going, yep. we have a private event page that we're going to share this information. And then at the end, we're going to do a happy hour event nice. where we're going to just literally talk about those things and talk about the next goals. Like, okay, you notice that I want to do this, et cetera. Yeah. And we keep building upon each other yeah. and grow because this sounds great have dreams that need to be fulfilled <laughs> yeah this sounds a fantastic challenge you need to like do it like every two months or something like just keep rolling yeah, exactly so out. we were thinking of doing it every month because i yeah. really feel like everyone needs, needs to do this you i know, agree every day. yeah <laughs> but, i agree uh, <laughs> yeah do it I, I, I think it's br i think it's brilliant and you know even though the fitness day scares me a little bit you might have me jumping around doing some exercise on the <laughs> fitness day of the challenge I'm a bit unfit, but, um, <laughs> but no, I think this is a brilliant idea for a challenge. So um, once you have a link or whatever for that, let me know and I'll share that out as well. Into yes, the group. I, I can send that to you. I have it all here. Yeah. Oh, I mean, brilliant. Yeah, do. We are excited because um, I'm actually trying to, we started off with like a 10 people who want to yeah. try as many people, but we're thinking of 10 people who are going to take this seriously. You know, yeah. this is very serious. Our health yeah. and wellness is very serious. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. I think if people are more aware of this, especially in our current times with COVID, I mean, that's even a more glaring yep. um, context for yeah. the need to focus on your health and wellness. Yeah, absolutely. Valuable, so. No, absolutely. Well, listen, this has been absolutely brilliant. I'm so glad we made this happen. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> And um, <laughs> send me all the links. I mean, I've written down a couple of them, but I'll, I'll make sure you send them to me and I will include them around above or below this video um, so that people can reach out to you as well. But thank you, Abella. This has been brilliant. You're this most welcome. I'm so good. Bye, everyone. <laughs> thank you so much. You take care. Bye. Bye.